Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a reading for Aries for the month of April, first half, that is uh, 1st to 15. Let me see what is coming ahead for you for the upcoming month of April, first half. Too many cards. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Let me tell you, I do not read reverse cards because all I do is whatever downloads I get in that point of time, I'm going to just channel the energies, okay? Two of Wands. The Sun card. Knight of Pentacles and the Moon. Let me get a clarification card for the Moon. Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. <sighs> so, I see that uh, you are you are investing in yourself in a business or a project okay and uh, your energies are more towards your work rather than any kind of things at this point of time money is the thing which is in your head the thing which really matters to you okay There are plenty of energies, you know, the energies which are trying to come in your life. Like, I, I see this energy trying to offer you world and this energy is more stable. Like, this lot and lot of, this person uh, is drawn to you and uh, they have a lot of emotions and feelings and this person is very sensitive okay I also see two more energies are there are too many people in your life I currently see three energies and uh, one one seems to be this queen of swords okay this energy wants a reconciliation okay but this energy you just be careful with this person this you know this is a person uh, mercury retrograde is about to start right in the month of april one so you know there will be people who will uh, gravitate towards you from the past like they will be pulled back to you and these cycles try to you know repeat so it's a tendency of X to come back in mercury retrogrades and try to uh, spoil our lives obviously they are called as X for a reason right so I'm sorry guys I am feeling very low today I am myself not so if my voice is a little you know low or sad please <laughs> No. So, if some one of your exes, because I see there are two, three energies currently, yeah, but you're you're more drawn towards finances and business, okay. But I do see this energy coming towards you who caused a lot of, you know toxicity in the past there was uh, cheating involved they 
of course they would like to manipulate that uh, this is not this was not something from the air and it was a misunderstanding there is there was no cheating in wall it was just you who thought and created a web of uh, misunderstanding and left me that that is how this energy is going to manipulate you and uh, they are very exploitive and manipulative towards people they have a fake face and they do cheat a lot that's their energy and they will come back to reconcile in the first half of the april and the downloads which i am getting is just be careful with this energy i need a clarification card for king of pentacles Too many people are interested in you, isn't it? Yes, Aries. Like you are like a talk of the town kind of a person. You have a lot of limelight in your circle. Yeah. There is uh, one more energy which seems to be coming towards you, but this energy has a lot of options, and they do. explore them and they are open to other energies as well so i don't think this would be a good option to consider you know this this exploring nature is more than enough to quit right in the beginning you do not have to go for the journey and then fall into a pit and then break through a cycle no need you can just see a person their nature and then quit right in the beginning i need one uh, clarification card for the sun the devil seven of wands and the hermit moon so basically you are a person who had been through a lot in the past that's the reason you are just now right now concentrating on your money and finances and business and your energies are more towards your own self because the past was quite toxic you have just you know moved on from the past and restarted your life and uh, you do not want to go into the same shit again okay that is the reason you are in this mode of business and investment you know just uh, in the previous past uh, you were in a very toxic cycle uh, you know it was like on and off thing lot of cheating and uh, deception was involved and you of course what else a person will do when when they get cheated so you just struggled hard and uh, and you know it was a very sudden kind of drastic change in your life you just split suddenly and then you went on this new journey of your life you just restarted your life and it was not easy for you okay it was not easy for you your the energies which i am getting is very intense it's like bleeding from your eyes kind of pain i feel you know it's it's very heavy for me as well and then you started your new life it was not easy you started from a debris yeah debris is something when the building collapse you started from the scratch it was a new it is a new life you're working on yourself you went on a hermit mode you you isolated yourself of course you will be doing this in the month of april first half you will concentrate on your work 
your daily routine you have a sorted life you are still healing it is not that since these energies are still popping up in your energetic field in your reading it shows that you still have that energetical cords which sometimes uh, remind you of the past and hurt you as well but you are moving on you are no more sitting in that shit and smelling it you are you have already walked away you are moving on and uh, working your life is now stable it has come to a state wherein uh, you know things are fine now let me uh, look at your finances because at this point of time relationship is not your cup you know uh, it's all about uh, your business and job for you currently that's how your energies are judgment card in the case of finances there's a judgment card no clarification for it. if if it's it's not only about the work front or business it's about finances which you have been invested somewhere or there are certain source of income or certain source of uh, sources from where the money has to come to you okay it is your money not somebody else's but you have been waiting for quite some time and you know it's just waiting and fighting from the uh, looks like you know something which is documented and legal and you have been fighting for your own money yeah and uh, yes if that is the case your money is on the way if your money is stuck somewhere and uh, if it is something which is legal you know uh, and then you're fighting for it and waiting for a long time and been working hard to get your money back then yes you will get it it's on the way I cannot predict the time but you will get it. Let me see this energy who has this you know lot of potentials because it's ace of cups. There's one more energy who who is drawn to you and who has a, an eye on you. Two of wands. Give me one clarification for the high priestess. Seven of Swords. I don't know why the Seven of Swords came up. The World card and Nine of Pentacles. Okay, the this person sees you as an opportunity. Okay, this person is offering you world. I don't know why I'm getting energies in your circle who have. Uh, um an intention behind having a relationship or keeping you in their life as a companion or something like that you know everyone has their own intentions i see three energies currently one is very deceptive one has a habit of exploring everyone the deceptive one is seems to be your ex who will offer you a reconciliation of course since it's a mercury retrograde exes do that shit so this energy who seems to offer their world in the beginning it will be really beautiful okay in the beginning it's like a dream world fairyland they will show you this a lot of love and care and then i see a third party that i'm sure about this okay and a sneaky peeky energy and they see you as uh, as a lottery like since you are very independent and since you are very good in your business and finances they see you as a lottery ticket like if i get along with this person like a gold digger basically and this is that if i offer this 
person my world you know they are offering this world their world will change obviously when gold diggers enter their in anybody's life their world will change it becomes luxurious all of a sudden since they cannot afford they just want to get into somebody else's life who has good uh, finances and they use people isn't it that that's how most of them do right and they feel that their world will change and they see you as a uh, a luxury um, a luxurious opportunity or a lottery so people around you most of it's like uh, three energies these you know not recommendable i do not recommend because you see what are their intentions so yeah this is for the month of april first half for aries so looks like your finances are good and the healing journey is good you are having a um you know self growth self uh, you are connecting with your inner self working on your uh, on your uh, wounds and pain and moving forward and trying to upgrade yourself it's all about you in the month of april yeah yeah if this has resonated with you please do subscribe my channel and uh, like and comment if not do not get disappointed aries thank you so much have a nice day